Romies, what's up? Mike Rudd, back at you. For those of you who don't know this about me, uh, one of my outdoor quests in life is to visit all of the U.S. national parks. Now, as of about <clears throat> several months ago in 2022, I had visited all the U.S. national parks in the lower 48 of the United States. And then the National Park Service went and added one I had not been to that was a national monument or a nature preserve. That is New River Gorge National Park in West Virginia. As of the reading of this Romy, it is the newest U.S. National Park, and it's in West Virginia. It's right by where I have lived for many years of my life in Columbus, Ohio, and I had never been there. December 2022, I made a road trip to this park during the off-season, and I'm here to give you a little rundown, some of my fun facts about New River Gorge National Park and why you need to go. <clears throat> so, Rock climbing and world-class whitewater rafting are the two things that really stand out about this spot, but I went on a rainy day in December, so I wasn't going to be doing either of those two things. Here's an odd distinction, though, about New River Gorge National Park. It has the second longest steel arch bridge in the entire world. Shanghai's Lupu Bridge knocked it off in 2003. It's also the longest steel arch bridge in the United States. So they got a little bit of everything there. Wildlife, plants, protected land. One day a year though, typically in the fall, they have bridge day. And that's when they close the bridge down that I just referenced, the second longest steel arch bridge in the world. And you can walk on it and some people base jump off of the bridge. As I mentioned, New River Gorge, <clears throat> golly season. That's when people really around the world know about it. When I've gone whitewater rafting in the Grand Canyon, the guides talk about they run the season in the canyon and then they head for six weeks running the golly season in West Virginia before they head down to, say, Costa Rica to continue their whitewater rafting season during the winter. So I didn't get to do any of that, but uh, here's a few highlights for you. First of all, the town next to the National Park, Fayetteville, West Virginia, super fun, cool, small town. Definitely stop in there. Go there. I got a couple different spots for you there. Uh, hiking. Long Point and the Endless Wall were two hiking trails that I highly recommend. Another thing that I think is pretty cool, if you are a plant photographer or a flower photographer or you just like to go see them the Kmore line loop would be great for flowers plants sunsets and sunrises okay flowers plants sunsets sunrises if you're into photography if you want to chase some waterfalls with TLC I got Glade Creek and Sandstone Falls for you a couple of spots to do a little uh, fun goat petting and have lunch? Yeah, you can do both of those at the same time. The Arrowhead Bike Farm was a super cool place. I had a delicious veggie burrito. Met a couple people from Parkersburg, West Virginia there that I had lunch with and two beers, and we had a great time. They also have excellent food, as I mentioned, of a variety of sorts. You can rent bikes. You can camp there. They have a mountain bike bike ramp there. And like I said, on-site goats. The Free Folk Brewery is a great place to meet up for after you go hiking. And as I mentioned before, rafting and rock climbing. That's what a lot of people really come for. In fact, when I was hiking the Endless Wall Trail, they had several different rock climbing spots. But it was super wet, super off-season uh, for somebody to go do that. <clears throat> That's really all I got. It's a super, really fun place in West Virginia to go visit. It's easy to get to. Make sure you bring some change, though. I ran into the West Virginia Turnpike. Didn't have exact change. Got a ticket on the toll. 
Then, of course, it went to my virtual post office mailbox that I didn't get till four months later. My 12 cents on the toll went into $20, but, you know, it was all worth it. Hope you enjoyed all of this little journey in New River Gorge National Park. And I guess I'm going to leave you with this. Where am I going next? Because there's going to be another new U.S. National Park in the lower 48 of the United States. And then when that comes out, I'm going to have to get there. I hope it's close by and fun as New River Gorge was for me to be able to get down there on a winter weekend in December in West Virginia. Till next time, Mike R. signing off. Keep roaming, my friends. See ya.